Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cindy Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today we have Fountain of Stars and the Soul Forge, as well as Ketris the Bull. Those are probably the two best mythics in the Soul Forge right now. Not saying you should craft them, but hey, it's topical. Let's make a couple teams, one with uh, Fountain of Stars and one with Ketris the Bull, and you guys put your teams in the comments. That's what I'm most interested in, is your guys' best Fountain of Stars teams, your best Ketris the Bull teams. Let's go. Put them in the comments. Those are the best two things in the Soul Forge, so let's go uh, to explore. Difficulty 12. This might not be the best place for this team, but I'm just messing around with it right now. Um, trying to make a team for this. And we have... Fountain of Stars, Reflection of Good, Alder Father, King Aberon. And this is also an all Fey team. The whole team is Fey. Um, Fountain of Stars, by the way, 24 or 25 red, blue, yellow, bright forest construct Fey. Convert five green gems to purple potions and all brown gems to skulls. Cleanse all Fey allies. 15% uh, chance to bless all allies when my turn begins. Reduce damage from skulls by 50%. So he's in first slot because he has that 50% reduction. He will cleanse all allies on our team. Reflection of Good uses purple, which it's going to make. So does Outer Father, who then will convert red gems to purple and yellow to skulls. Probably get itself back up. And it has a summon on it too. So Entangles a random enemy matching purple. We're going to match a ton of purple. Uh, spell Armor. And then King Aberon starting all Fey allies with 50% mana. Give life and magic to all allies and create a firestorm and enchant all fey allies. And that's cool if you do cast them because he'll make a bunch of red. Outer Father can then turn all the red to purple. And you get these two back up. And it's just, I don't know, it's not the fastest thing ever. But it's pretty, it's worked so far. And it's pretty fun. I would say the main um, thing to describe it would be a fun team. A fun all fey team. Alright, so I look for purple and red first of all. Unless I have an extra turn. So let's look for purple or red. So that's what our banner is, anyway. So purple or red. Let's get something up here. Usually it doesn't take this long, but uh, there we go. Reflection of good. I'm going to cast it on my fountain, which gets it up. I'm looking for that brown conversion. And even if I don't have it, I might just cast it and hope for the purple potion, which I think is the case right here. Got it. See? Tons of purple on the board. Now we're looking for yellow to skulls or red to purple. And I think we have red to purple. Let's do that. Using the Frost Mage class. Um, we got this right here. So let's do that. Um, we got the yellow again. Outer Father. Uh, some more skulls. Mm, let's see. So right now we have Reflection of Good. Let's get this. Big blue extra turn. Um, we got Reflection of Good... I think we go with that on the Outer Father, actually, because there's so much purple and green on the board that we'll get more value, I think. We've got the fountain up again. It's got the conversion. Boom, bunch of purple. Fills up everybody else. And now Outer Father. Boom. And let's see, do we have Outer Father again? No. Do we have any extra turns? Right here. We got the lightning strike, so that helps this team. Um, do we have the yellow to skulls or the purple to red? No, but we have this up here. Got the fountain again. The fountain is good to go. And bang, we win. So, it's pretty fun. I'm not Like I said, it's not the fastest thing ever, but it does have a summon on it. It does have a bless on it. It does have a cleanse on it. It has a 50% start on it. It's an all fey team. And you got all kinds of good positive status effects and a 50% skull reduction. So just something fun to use with your new Fountain of Stars if you got it uh, this week. Um, like I said, uh, red and purple is what we want to start with here. Mm, let's go... Where should we go, y'all? Um, let's just go here, red. And here, red. We got our fountain. Looking for it. I don't have it, but sometimes I just cast it and just see what happens. Especially if we don't have anything else going on. Didn't work that time, but hey, it's all good. We got these purple potions now. That should make something happen. So let's go, like, right here. Like I said, should make something happen. There we go. We still have the fountain. We have Outer Father. Bang. Now, hopefully we have the fountain. Uh, we don't exactly have it, but I think it'll still work. Well, what about Outer Father? Yellow to skulls. Let's just go with this. See what happens. 
nothing, but it's alright. We have tons of uh, mitigation and, you know, all kinds of good stuff, so everything should be fine. There's Outer Father again. Um, do we have them now? Red to purple, yellow to skulls. No, but we have this. Red to purple, yellow to skulls. Uh, do we have any extra turns? No, let's just do Reflection of Good, and I like to do it on Outer Father. Unless, like, the fountain's about to die or something. And then we have... Do we have Fountain or Outer Father here? Mm. So you gotta... The only thing about these double convert teams is you gotta, like, scrutinize the board, and it takes... Sometimes it takes a minute to look at everything. So we don't have... Don't have the Outer Father, do we? Purple to red... Or red to purple and yellow to skull. So we'll just do Reflection and Good again. It's fine. Let's do it on uh, Fountain this time. Alright, so... Once again, uh, skulls, brown to skulls, yellow to skulls, no. Purple to, no, okay, wow, great. Um, so, let's just do this. Hope something happens. We got, mmm, yeah, sometimes I just do this. This is all kinds of purple. And then, we got this, we got this. I don't think we're going to lose at all. And then, um, let's see. We probably could do Outer Father here. Mm, but we got that. Got Definitely have Outer Father now. So it's pretty synergetic and really fun team to use. It's like a freaking fountain waterfall team, if you want to call it that. Uh, we got this. Bang, bunch of purple potions. So you see what I mean? Uh, pretty fun. All kinds of good stuff on it. Let's do one more battle with this, then we'll move on to the catchers, the bull team. Which, hey, in the comments, please. Would really appreciate it. Maybe you have a better Fountain of Stars team. Maybe you found something that complements it better that, uh, like, for example, it makes five green, it, it converts five green gems to purple potions and all brown gems to skulls. So if you have something that can make brown or you have something that can make green, for example, that might be really good, like a double converter or converts some of those colors to skulls or whatever. That could be really good. Um, what do we have here? Let's just get up our reflection of good, I think. And we'll cast it on our fountain. There we go. Got our fountain. That should get everything else going if it wasn't already going. Um, we got our... I wish I would have a really... I had some really nice battles with this team. And, of course, on video. It doesn't want to... Doesn't want to do it. Like, Outer Father was turning red to purple like crazy a moment ago. Let's do this. Brown to skulls. Yellow to skulls. Purple to red. Let's see if we can make that happen. Yellow to skulls. Uh, let's just, um... I don't know. Dang. Let's just do, uh... I guess this. Just blow up the board. Make something happen here. There we go. That's a lot, a lot better. Okay, now we'll just do this. Lots of purple there. Um, let's go with this. Try to get that fountain back up. Purple to red. Or red to purple. Um, yellow to skulls. And trying to get the fountain back up. Let's go. Where are you at? We got skulls. Let's just do this again. Not the best move sometimes. Like I said, I'd rather cast it on Outer Father half the time. There we go. Here we go. Boom. Bunch of purple. And we got this. Cool. Um, yellow to skulls. Purple to red. Uh, anything there? No. Let's do this on... I'm going to go here because it's like a guaranteed huge explosion. And yellow to skulls. Purple to red. Um, nothing. Let's just do that. And we don't have our fountain right now. Uh, wow, let's do this. It'll cleanse everybody. It will, uh, enchant everybody, I think, right? Um, or at least enchant. The, uh, this, I think, cleanses, yeah. Okay, just started messing with it. Purple to red. Yellow to skulls. No. Okay, well, we'll just get our fountain up. It's fine. Um, there we go. We got this. Now we have this. And they should be dead. 
So you see what I mean. Uh, those weren't the perfect battles for video here. I've ha I had better ones where everything just went perfectly, and it was like a freaking fountain waterfall team, pretty much. I don't want to name it that, but it is a fun Fey team. A fun all Fey team. Using the Fountain of Stars that we just got in the Soul Forge this week. So yeah, put your Fountain of Stars or yeah, Fountain of Stars teams in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. I'm not saying this is like the best Fountain of Stars team. I'm just saying it's an all Fey Fountain of, of Stars team that is fun. It's probably better off for like PvP or something else, but I'm done with my PvP for the week. I don't I don't like doing things that I don't need to do. So I was trying it there in Difficulty 12 Explore. All right, let's go check out this Catcher's the Bull team. He's also available right now. Why is it there? It's supposed to be here. All right, here we go. Uh and i need the right i think i do have the right metals on oh uh, i gotta change one one metal um no that's perfect all right so it's the same metals for both teams and we're on delve 120 it's not super deep but we have yasmin's pride catchers catchers harpy mage this is the best catchers team i would say um unlike the fountain of stars team which i'm not sure uh this is the best catchers the bull team uh catchers the bull 22 red green brown wild plains divine taurus Deals splash damage to an enemy, boosted by my attack, life, and armor. And he's used in the Underworld because you have your Horde level, you have uh, your Yasmin's Pride here, which eliminates all armor from an enemy, gives all allies 54 life, boosted by armor eliminated. Um, so you have lots of boosts towards that attack, life, and armor in the Underworld. We have Harpy Mage, who is a second turn in power if you have an enchant potion, but starts spells with 75% mana. Which most of us have enchant potions now, right? If you're in the underworld. It conjures a dust storm, which is good for this team because everything else on the team uses brown. And then we choose an ally and explode 45 gems of one of their mana colors. I usually choose Ketcherus. So let's go watch this team in action. And then not a deep delve or anything. We're at level 120. Nothing crazy. But um, we'll see what happens here. So early on, I think you want your... Harpy Mage, but it's enchanted, so we don't really want to be taking its mana if we don't have to. So do we have green or or red or anything? I'm just getting crappy starting boards with this uh, this <laughs> this video here. Okay, whatever. We'll take yellow. And then we'll cast this on our Ketcheris. Got both our Ketcherises up. We could go ahead and do this just to make sure. Just to show it. So we pick the uh, troop with the most armor. That gives us life to everybody else on the team. And now these will definitely, or should, one-shot. Well, maybe not, but it's close. And you don't need very much else to get everything done here. Bang, dead. You know what I mean? So, you could cast that. The further you get, the more that Yasmin's going to do. The more it's going to drain, the more life it's going to give you. Um, and the more you got going on as far as potions, the better it's going to go. And the earlier you are, the better it's going to go. But either way, like late or early, it should be good. All right, so we need that Harpy Mage, um, but we're going to do this first, and we might as well do this again since it didn't one-shot last time. Um, we got Ketris. Bang. We just need our second Ketris, and we got this. All right, let's just go. I should have got that extra turn there, but I didn't. It's okay. Our second Ketris is up. Cast it on four. Bang, bang, win. Let's go one more battle, and that'll be the video for today. But yeah, put your teams in the comments. Ketris the Bull? I've heard of him going with Ferocity before. I don't really like that, but um, Fountain of Stars teams would be great. I think I tried Fountain with, like, Glaceon before. Um, would like to see. I'm, I'm interested to see what y'all's teams are. And that's the whole point of this video here. Give y'all some ideas. Give you one that's, like, the meta for the troop, and one that I'm just messing around with with the troop. And then hopefully see some teams in the comments from y'all. All right, yellow. Uh, let's go Harpy Mage on the Ketcheris. We got both our Ketcherises up. We're going to cast this real quick on whoever has the most armor. We'll go with this. And that'll guarantee that at least the first person dies up there. And then we can just go bang. And they're all dead. You know what I mean? So pretty quick, especially if it's an event at the time and you have more potions and more stats and everything. It works even better. But I'm doing it outside of an event, um, and it's still working pretty good. So, But yeah, that's it for today. Two things in the Soul Forge right now. Would I recommend you craft them? Mm. The, the Ketris is a borderline top 10. It's a really good Delve Troop, but there's so many other things you could use these days. The Fountain of Stars is probably more like a B-tier mythic, something like that. 
So not really, but if you are, if you happen to craft one of those, this is the video for you. And put your teams in the comments if you already have Fountain of Stars or Catchers and you have an awesome team for them. I'd really like to see it in the comments. Also, hit that like button. Subscribe. We're almost at 6K subscribers. 6,000 subscribers. So just need like 60 of y'all out there to hit subscribe. And let's get there so I can shut up about it. You guys are the best. Peace out.